First of all, let's start with physics. Now, in physics, we have two sections, section A and section B. Both of these sections are of 40 marks each. So, one question will be of the form match the following. Okay? Now, how do you write the answer for match the following type questions? For example, here you can see in this question, we have to draw the diagram. You can see how neatly the diagram has been drawn and how everything has been labeled. Hello everyone, welcome to the session. I hope all of you people are doing good. So this session is going to be super important for all the ICSC board students that are going to give their 10th board exams. Why? Because in today's session, we are going to discuss the marking scheme and the paper pattern of all the three science subjects, that is physics, chemistry and biology. So if you love this video, do give it a like, do share, do subscribe. So first of all, let's start with physics. Now in physics, we have two sections, section A and section B. Both of these sections are of 40 marks each. Now in section A, you have three questions. Question one has 15 questions of the type MCQ. Okay, so all of these MCQ type questions are of one mark each. And how do you write the answers for these MCQ type questions? So remember, you don't have to write any explanation. You don't have to show the solution of numerical type questions. All you need to do is write the correct option and the answer. For example, here the correct answer is option A positive. So we have written just that. Okay. Now, among these 15 MCQ type questions, you will also have assertion reason type questions. Now, how will you answer these? So, remember to first read both the statements and determine whether the statements are true or false. And then see whether the second statement is explaining the first statement or not. And then answer accordingly. Here also, you don't have to write the explanation, only the correct option. Okay? Now, Moving on to question number two. So in question number two, you further have three questions. And this question two has a weightage of 10 marks. Okay. The first question of question two would be of the form fill in the blanks. Okay. Now, this fill in the blank will have a weightage of six marks. How will you answer these fill in the blanks type questions? So remember, along the blank, you will always have options from which you have to pick the correct option and fill in the blank. That's it. Now, here you can see on the screen, we have a two mark question in which you have to draw the graph. Okay. So remember when you're drawing the graph, proper labeling has to be done because labeling always has a mark. For example, here, on the y-axis, you're showing potential energy in joules. So you will write uj on y-axis. Similarly, you're showing height in meters on x-axis. So you'll write hm on x-axis. And this labeling has one mark. Now, nature of graph also has a mark, obviously. So do draw the graph correctly because that has an additional one mark here. Okay. Now, moving on to question number three. So question number three has a weightage of 15 marks. And in question number three, we have two types of questions. First six questions are short answer type questions. Okay. Now all of these six short answer type questions have a weightage of two marks each. The seventh question of question three has a weightage of three marks. And again, it is a short answer type question. Okay. Now remember in your board exams, most of these three mark questions will have further subparts. So please write the answers accordingly. Do not over explain, but at the same time, do not skip on writing the explanation if it is asked. And if you only have to state something, then just write the answer in brief. That's it. Okay. Now moving on to section B. So section B has a total of six questions. But don't worry, you don't have to write the answers for all of these six questions. You just have to select four questions among these six questions. Now, all of these six questions have the following pattern. What pattern? So you will have two questions of three marks and the third question will be of four marks. Okay. In physics, while you're doing your numerical, do recheck your calculations. And yes, that's it for physics. Let us move on 
to chemistry now. Now in chemistry too, you have two sections, section A and section B. Each of these sections have a weightage of 40 marks. Starting with section A, you have two questions in section A. The first question again will have 15 MCQ type questions including assertion reason based type questions. Now you already know how to write the answers for these. So let's move on to question number 2. Now this question number 2 has a weightage of 25 marks and this question will have 5 questions and each of these 5 questions will have a weightage of 5 marks. Okay. Now these 5 questions can be of what type? Let's see. Okay. So one question will be of the form match the following. Okay. Now how do you write the answer for match the following type questions? So all you need to do is just write what thing is getting matched to what number. For example here A is getting matched to 3. So you'll just write A 3. Then B is getting matched to 4. So you'll write B 4. That's it. Okay. You need not write more. Now the second type of question would be fill in the blank type. Okay. So again you already know how to write the answers for fill in the blank type questions. So let's move on to the third type of question that you can get which is of the form identify the following. Now in identify the following all you need to do is just write whatever is being identified as. Okay. Whatever correct answer is just write that. Now next type of question that you will get would be figure based question. Okay. An activity might be shown to you or a figure might be shown to you and based on that questions will be asked in the form of sub parts. Okay. Fifth question will have two questions and both of these two questions will have further sub parts. Okay. And these sub parts will be of the form very short answer type questions of one mark each. For example, here you can see that you have to draw the structural diagram or here you can see you have to write the IUPSC names. Right. So again, you need not write anything extra. Just do what is asked. Okay. And when you are drawing the structural diagram, make sure your diagram is neat and clean. Now with that, let us move on to section B. So now section B has a weightage of 40 marks and section B has 6 questions each of 10 marks. Okay. But you don't have to attempt all the questions like in physics, in chemistry also in section B only 4 questions are compulsory. So you'll choose 4 questions and attempt them. Okay. Now the questions will have 2 types. Either a question will have 4 sub questions or sub parts and in these sub parts Two questions will be of two marks each and two questions will be of three marks each. Okay. Or you might have a question in which there are three questions where two questions are of three marks each and one question is of four marks. Now again in four mark question you will have sub parts. Okay. So write the answers accordingly. So with that let us move on to biology. In biology, again, you will have two sections, section A and section B. Each of the section will have a weightage of 40 marks. Now, in section A, you will have two questions. The first question will have 15 MCQ type questions. And among these MCQ type questions, you will also have assertion reason based type questions. You already know how to answer these, right? Okay. Now, moving on to second question. So the second question will have a weightage of 25 marks and it will have 5 questions and each of these questions would have a weightage of 5 marks. Okay. So what type of questions might be asked? So you will have a question of the form name the following. Okay. For example, here you are asked the basic unit of heredity. The answer is what? Genes. You will just write A genes. That's it. Okay. Just write the name. That's it. Okay, another type of question would be of the form fill in the blanks. So in biology, fill in the blanks type questions will always be paragraph based. Okay, how will you write the answer? You already know, right? Another type of question that you'll have would be match these structures. Okay, so it's similar to match the following only and you'll write the answers in the same way only. Okay, another type of question would be logical sequencing. So in logical sequencing type questions, you will have to arrange the words or expressions in correct order, starting with the underlined word or expression. Okay. So how will you write the answers for these? Very simple. All you need to do is just rearrange the entire thing in the correct order and just write that down. Okay. The entire thing. Okay. 
Another type of question that you can have would either be odd one type where you have to choose the odd one out and just write in your copy whatever odd one out is and name the category to which others belong or you can have another name the structure type question. So yes, that's it for section A. Now moving on to section B. In section B, you have six questions and among these six questions, you only have to choose four questions and answer those. Okay. Now all the questions in section B have a weightage of 10 marks each. So each of these questions will have the following pattern. What pattern? So you will have a one mark question. Okay, which will be of the form very short answer type and you will write the answer very shortly only. Then you will have three two marks questions. Okay, so all of these three two marks questions would be short answer type questions. And then finally you will have a three mark question. Okay, now this three mark question will always be figure based. Either you have to draw a diagram or the diagram is already given to you and the question is asking you three things from that diagram. Okay, now remember when you're drawing the diagram in biology paper, make sure you draw it with pencil and make sure that you label it correctly. Okay, labeling is pretty important. For example, here you can see in this question, we have to draw the diagram. You can see how neatly the diagram has been drawn and how everything has been labeled. Okay, and remember when you're writing the answers in science exams, just write your answers in points. Also in physics, and in chemistry, if there are units involved, do not skip those units. Please write the units. Okay. And yes, that's it. Uh, all the very best for your board exams. Thank you.